because both Forest Pack and Rail Clone use splines to drive the distribution, you can share paths between them to really take advantage of the parametric nature of both plugins. Let's take an example from this lake scene. Here we see a boardwalk. Since our ground cover is a little bit unkempt, we want to simulate the fact that grass tends to grow taller around the boundaries of objects where it can't easily be trampled or cut. So first of all the grass is assigned to the surface. But you don't want to scatter on the whole surface, you only want to scatter these around the boardwalk. So turn off the surface area. Then add the spline that's used for the boardwalk. Increase the thickness until the grass pokes just on either side of the boardwalk. Unfortunately, the grass is also under and coming through the boardwalk, so we want it only to be on the sides. To do that, you can add the same spline a second time, but this time set it as an exclude area, and then increase the thickness to remove the grass from under the boardwalk, and you'll end up with a strip of grass on either side. The grass ends a little bit abruptly, whereas in reality it would die off the further it got from the boardwalk. So in order to simulate that, you can use density fall off based on curves. To turn on density fall off, you can leave the curve as it is and just increase the include area until the grass dies away a little bit the further it is from the boardwalk. What you should end up with then is two strips of grass on either side of the path. And because both forest pack and rail clan are driven by the same spline, it's very easy to edit the whole setup. Just change the spline and both boardwalk and the grass update 